Good day, wonderful students. It is another learning time. My name is Mr. Onokoya S.O. I will be your financial accounting teacher for today. Our topic of discussion is branch accounts. Introduction. A business organization in a bid to reach more customers who are in different locations far away from the present location of the business will need to set up another branch of the business to bring goods and services closer to the customers. The original location of the business becomes head office while the new established location becomes a branch. How the two locations of the same business prepare their accounts is what we want to look at today. Therefore, our learning objectives are 1. Explain the meaning of branch and branch accounts. 2. Enumerate the types of branches. 3. Describe reasons why branch account is important. 4. Prepare branch accounts. Meaning. A branch is a small part of a business operating with some degree of independence in a different location. A branch account is the account prepared to show the relationship and accountability of operations between the head office and branches. Divisions of branches. Branches can either be autonomous, dependent, or foreign. An autonomous branch is the branch operating with a separate accounting preparation and documents procedures, different from the head office. A dependent branch is that branch where all the accounting records are prepared and kept by the head office. A foreign branch is that part of the business in faraway location where the political settings, business dynamics, and legal framework are not the same. Reasons why branch account preparation is important. 1. It prevents wastages and fraud from the staff. 2. It allows proper control over the branch by the head office. 3. It enables the organization to determine the branch that is making either profit or loss. 4. It assists the organization to determine the performance of a branch manager. 5. It helps to determine the performance of the organization as a whole. Preparation of branch account. In branch account preparation, two situations are considered. One, where the head office keeps all the accounts. Two, where the branches keep separate accounts. In any of the two situations above, the pricing methods, that is, how the head office charges the branch for goods supplied are of three types. A. At cost price. This is when the goods are sent to the branch at cost price. The branch determines how much they will sell the goods. This method is okay for perishable goods, but the head office has minimal control of the branch when determining the selling price at the branch location. This might affect the business if the branch hike prices for the customers, which can cause reduction in sales. B. At cost plus percentage. Under this method, the head office sends the goods to the branch at cost price, but fixed a selling price percentage which the branch must not exceed in charging price to customers. C. At selling price. Under this method, the head office sends goods to the branch and fixed the selling price. This is okay for non-perishable or durable goods. Under any of the pricing methods, the following accounts are prepared in branch accounts depending on the questions given. 1. Branch stock account. 2. Goods sent to branch account. 3. Branch debtors account. 4. Cash account. 5. Profit and loss account. Let's take a short break to continue very soon. You are welcome back. We now continue on accounting entries for branch accounts. Accounting entries. Following any of the pricing methods highlighted earlier, there are two accounting entries used in preparation of branch accounts. One, memorandum column or double column method. Two, branch adjustment method. Memorandum column or double column method. Using this method, 
There is no separate branch stock and branch adjustments accounts. The two accounts are combined into branch memorandum account. Format. The format has a column for date, details, invoice price, and cost price both on the debit side and credit side. The following items are found on the debit side. Opening stock. Goods sent to branch. The following items are found on the credit side. Returns to head office. Credit sales. Cash sales. Discount allowed. Goods stolen. Cash stolen. Expenses paid. Closing stock. If the credit side is more than the debit side in the cost column, the difference is the balance and it is tagged gross profit which should be credited to profit and loss account. If the debit side of the cost column is more than the credit side, the difference is the balance and it is tagged gross loss, which will be debited to the profit and loss account. In this above account, the invoiced column will have the selling price, while the cost column will have the cost price. In solving branch account question, you will need to recall your knowledge of fractions, markup, and margin. This will help you in determining the selling price of goods to be put in the invoiced column. The invoice prices calculation will affect only prices on goods and services and not associated costs. After preparing memorandum branch account, the next is to prepare goods sent to branch account using the cost price. In that case, you debit returns to branch and credit memorandum branch stock. The balance in this account is named transfer to head office trading account. After this, you prepare profit and loss account where you debit expenses, cash stolen, goods stolen at cost, gross loss, and you credit gross profit which you are bringing from the memorandum branch account on the debit side. Now let's take this question down. Ireoluwa Enterprises operates head office and a branch in Lokoja. All goods are purchased by the head office and sent to the branch at cost plus 25%. The following information was given for the year ended 31st December 1997. Goods sent to branch at cost. 50,000. Sales on credit, 35,000. Returns to head office at cost, 500. Cash takings remitted to head office, 10,000. Closing stock at cost, 12,500. Cash stolen, 1,150 naira. Sundry expenses, 950 naira. Goods stolen, 40 naira. Discounts given to customers, 100 naira. All these are done in Naira denomination. Let's take another short break now. When we come back, we will attempt the solution to this question. You are welcome back. Solution. Now the solution to the question. The first thing to do is to calculate the selling price invoice price of the goods in the question. How to do this is to find the 25% of the costs and add them up to the cost prices. This will affect the following and if you calculate it very well, the invoice prices of the following will be goods sent to branch, invoice price 62,500. How to get it? Cost price plus 25% of cost which is 50,000 plus 12,500. Goods returned to head office. Invoice price, 625 naira. How to get it? Cost price plus 25% of cost, which is 500 plus 125 naira. Closing stock. Invoice price, 15,625. How to get it? Cost price plus 25% of cost, which is 12,500 naira plus 3,125 naira. Goods stolen. 
Invoice price, 15 naira. How to get it? Cost price plus 25% of cost, which is 40 naira plus 10 naira. The memorandum branch account will look like this. Debit side, goods sent to branch. Invoice price, 62,500. Cost price, 50,000. The credit side, return to head office. Invoice price, 625 naira. Cost price, 500 naira. Credit sales. Invoice price, 35,000 naira. Cost price, 35,000 naira. Cash sales. Invoice price, 10,000 naira. Cost price, 10,000 naira. Discount allowed. Invoice price, 100 naira. Good stolen. Invoice price, 50 naira. Cost price, 40 naira. Cash stolen. Invoice price 150 naira, cost price 150 naira. Sundry expenses. Invoice price 950 naira, cost price 950 naira. Stock at close. Invoice price 15,625 naira, cost price 12,500 naira. If you post the above very well, the invoice column of both sides should be equal to the tune of 62,500 naira. The total of the credit side of the cost column is 59,140 naira, while the total of the debit side of the cost column is 50,000 naira. The difference between the two sides is 9,140 naira, which is the gross profit generated by the branch. This will be transferred to the credit side of the profit and loss account. Note. You will observe that the credit sales, cash sales, discount, cash stolen, and sundry expenses have the same figure on both columns. This is because the calculation of invoice prices only affects prices of goods and not cash received or paid. The next is to prepare the other accounts. Goods sent to branch account. Debit side, returns to head office. 500 naira. Credit side, memorandum branch account, 50,000 naira. The difference is 49,500. This will be transferred to the head office trading account. Another account to prepare, profit and loss account. Debit side, sundry expenses, 950 naira. Cash stolen, 150 naira. Good stolen, 40 naira. Credit side, Gross profit, 9,140 naira. The difference of the two sides is 8,000 naira. This is termed net profit. Assignment. Describe the shortcoming of issuing goods at cost to branches. 2. Explain the difference between a departmental account and branch account. Dear students, Kindly visit the Lagos State Education Twitter handle at Lagos LASG Education to submit your answers. Get soft copies of this note and also ask your questions. For further readings, you can visit www.accountinglearning.com. Thank you.